So this is a little insight into my nutrition kit lay. So this is something that I am constantly thinking about as ultimately, if you keep eating, hopefully you should keep going, uh, especially in, in Ironman distance. So it's Wednesday of race week and I've had my nutrition laid out uh, for a couple of days now. Um, I like to make sure I've got it all ready. I know exactly the quantities, what I'm going to have at what point across swim, bike, run, how I'm going to, to carry it as well. And also making sure I've got enough. Um, and so ahead of every single race, what I'll do is I'll look at the estimated time that I think that I'm going to be out um, across the, the bike and the run for. Add in a little bit of contingency time because things happen. Like at Gran Canaria, I had a mechanical on the bike. And so I decided to use that opportunity to actually take on some more nutrition. So you never know how long you're exactly going to be out there for. So I always carry at least 30 minutes to an hour's more worth of nutrition than I anticipate actually being able to execute the, uh, the, the durations of the distances for. So I am predominantly using the uh, 226s energy gels and I've been practicing a lot with these in training. So they are a European based company, but um, the good news is you can get them through X miles, uh, which is a UK based company which is awesome because you can pick and mix as many different nutrition options as you want. So it's really good that I've been able to consistently practice with these in training and also racing when I've been out here in, in Lanzarote and over in, in Gran Canaria. So I'm keeping it really simple. So it looks like there's a lot of gels. I don't even count how many gels there are. Um, so how do I structure my nutrition strategy then? Well, I look at how many grams of carb I think I'm going to take on an hour. And again, like I said, that's been practiced quite a lot in, in training and racing. So actually this year I'm opting for a 226s, it's an 87 gram carb neutral energy sachet. Um, I'll be taking two of these on the bike. So one in my rear bottle and one in my uh, front between the arms bottle. I'll also be adding a precision hydration um, sodium sachet in as well, so more electrolytes. As I know that I am a really, really salty sweater, like, I don't know if it sounds odd, but I, don't, I can, if you lick your face after training, I can taste how much salt there is on me. And the same happens on my, my training kit and racing clothes as well. I just have loads of salt marks. So I'm just adding that in as an extra precaution. I'd rather have it and not necessarily need it than the, the other way around. So that's what I'll be carrying in my bottles on the bike. And then in my down tube bottle, I'll be carrying about oh, all of those five, five fifty gram energy gels in my down tube bottle on my bike. And I'll be diluting that with water. Um, I know that roughly about one mouthful through my down tube bottle is about a gel. So what I do is I go along through the, the bike leg. I've got time on my Garmin and I keep a note in my head of how much I've taken on. So I'm aiming for about 90 grams of carbon hour on the bike. So I'll make sure I've calculated that as I go through, just so I know I'm on top of my nutrition. Um, so yeah, you have to be quite meticulous and switched on. It's not just a case of eat and hope. It is a case of thinking, have I taken on enough? Um, and just diligently keeping on top of that because you have no idea at what point that might come back to bite you. One of the things that I will do is I've got a whole nother set of two bottles and a down tube bottle ready to pop into uh, the personal needs nutrition bag. So that at halfway on the bike leg, I can do a full switch out of nutrition. I will actually also put in a couple of little brioche rolls just to break it up. Like all day I will be only on, on the gels, um, definitely not on beers. Uh, but then I found like in training, having something a little bit solid at that sort of halfway point that helps just to break it up. It's something a little bit more palatable, set of the stomach. But again, like I said, I've practiced that in training and that works really, really well for me. And then on the run, so I will be taking one of these kids sports water bottles. And um, what I'll do is I'll pop a couple of gels onto it as well. Um, I'll have one of these in my run nutrition bag so I can take it straight away. Again, I'll be using personal needs run nutrition to make sure I've got what I want um across the whole the whole part of the run there are like two to six of gels on the run and again there's nutrition on the bike course but for me i've just got peace of mind that i know exactly the amount of carb concentrate that i would like 
um, and having those as, their, as a contingency, not my only option and solution. The other thing I will make sure I do is keep on top of the caffeine intake. Um, these ones have got 100 milligrams in. I've got some more I'll take in my top tube bag on the bike, uh, which have got 160 milligrams of caffeine in. So it's a really, really big bang for the buck. I am also using a mix of, so 50 gram carb gels and 22 grams as well. 50 grams is just flipping awesome. Like being able to carry that amount of carb concentrate in just one gel, just is like being a total game changer. I remember when I was looking at my previous rate note, race notes and like how many gels I was having to carry. So from like an ease point of view, it just makes life so much easier. Um, being able to just like whack about four, four gels in my top tube bag, um, just as the, the caffeine only ones and just as a contingency in case something goes wrong. Um, yeah, so it makes it super slick and easy. So that's it really. So I keep nutrition really simple, not overcomplicated. Make sure I am self-sufficient and have exactly the products that I have tried in training um, and in racing as well. And again, just yeah, keep it nice and easy. Um, and hopefully just <laughs> keep eating. Like I have a little mantra in my head when I'm going along the race. It's like at the points you just don't feel like eating, that's when you just need to eat. Um, so I always carry gel, even if it's like 1K at the end, um, as you're coming into the finish, I always have a gel in my hand and you just don't know, like anything can happen at that point, can it? And so I'd rather have it, take it and know that I've then got a bit of energy to hopefully cross the line.